All right, guys, thanks for joining us for another Fun Fact Friday today. Today, here we are on the interior of our Light 297. We've talked a lot about the exterior, what really sets us apart out there and what really makes us different. Uh, believe it or not, we've got just as much to talk about in here on the interior of this little fifth wheel as well. One of the things that's always set the, the open range lineup of, and, of fifth wheels and travel trailers apart, and we've preached it a bunch, and I'll say it again, is more room but less weight. That's been our model from the beginning. One of the things that we do different from almost everybody else on the market, especially at this size, is we build on a 100 inch wide platform instead of 96. So we're four inches wider just in our box size. Over here in our main slide, we're able to go 42 inches deep. Again, because of our cable driven slide system, that's what allows us to have or to go to such a deep slide out. It will actually support that weight on that slide out. So when we go 42 as opposed to 36, like all of our competition is, we gain a full six inches in that slide out. Combine that with the extra four inches that we have on our box size, and when we're open up on any other triple slided unit on the market, we're a full 10 inches wider. Now on some of our floor plans, like our 319, we've got 42s on both sides, and then we're a full 15 inches wider than everybody else in the market. It's just gigantic inside there. A couple other really neat things that we do in here, and this was the thought process when we built this light series of fifth wheel, is we wanted to give you, our dealers, and our retail customers as much of the high-end oomph, if you will, as, much of the high, uh, as many and as much of the high-end features as we possibly could and still keep it at this weight that we're talking about and have it exist at that lightweight price point that is so popular out there in the marketplace right now. A couple of things that we've done. Number one, we've talked about the 50 amp service. All right, there's a few of our competitors that at this size might offer 50 amp service as an option. But even when they do, the only option that they give you with the 50 amp service would be the second air conditioner. All right, we've already talked about the fact that we also offer the option for the built-in 5500 watt Onan, or at least the ability to prep it right here at the factory for that generator. All right, another key thing that we do, and what Josh and I will go show it to you here in a minute, is we also prep this model standard for a washer and dryer. You're not gonna find that on any other 75, 76, 100 pound fifth wheel on the market. It doesn't exist, okay? Couple other key features in here. As you'll notice we have all LED, all LED lighting here throughout the ceiling. Almost every other competitor at this size and price point is still gonna be using the old big pancake incandescents up here, okay? I don't know if Josh can zoom in back here on these residential hidden hinges. But this will be true throughout this trailer, everywhere that you look. No more of the silly little 19 cent cheapies out here, but the real nice residential hidden hinges that really set this thing off. One of the key things in here too is the actual headroom. Again, we're trying to give you as much of the high end pop look and feel as we possibly can and still maintain that weight and price point that's so critical. Most of our competition on their slide outs here are only going to be five foot five. We're a full six foot tall here in our slide out area, okay? The other thing that we do, and we'll show you this later up in the bedroom, is we're able to go six foot four all the way to the front of this trailer so that your big guys can actually get up and walk around in the bedroom of this fifth wheel without having to bend over. I'm six foot three, and as I go around looking at the competition, inevitably, once I hit the top of the stairs, I'm hunched over just like, just like this uh, up there in the bedroom. Uh, something that really sets us apart at this size and price point. Yep. Another neat little thing, guys, and this is a change that we made last year, but it's been a big hit, right? We've now got storage back behind all of our TVs. Great spot for your customers' DVDs, their gaming equipment, all the stuff that they, you know that they all have to bring with them when they hit the road. Guys, another key feature that we've done here uh, for our fall changes at open range with this light series is to add this nice stitch work into the pattern of our couches. Um, it's really been a really gone over well with everybody who's seen it so far. Adds a lot of depth and dimension uh, to our sofas that we didn't have before and we just wanted to show that to you while we were in here. All right guys while we were in here we just wanted to take a minute to show you our new countertop now, guys, this is a press membrane, press membrane countertop, all right? It is a one-piece molded countertop. You're not going to see any T-molding in here anywhere, 
we haven't skimped. Now it is lighter weight. It's not the Corian like we use in our bigger stuff but it still looks great, feels great. The women have really, really taken to this material, okay? Obviously new for our uh, fall changes as well. High-rise pull-out faucet, uh, gives it a great look, and obviously is a, uh, from a functionality standpoint, I think is something that our women are absolutely gonna love. All right, guys, thanks for joining us for another Fun Fact Friday, touring our light 297 with us. There again, remember, 31 and a half feet long, 7,500 pounds, three slides. This is the biggest little fifth wheel on the market. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.